Hello, daddy folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to Wreckfest. Holy crap, we got the Tide Machine here in the freaking shop. We got the Ricky Craven early 2000s uh, paint scheme here. My God, I love this freaking car. So I think the orange needs to be a little needs to be a little bit more brighter. I think. Uh, let's see if we can try to adjust that and uh, see if that looks a little bit better. I don't know. It's we'll go with that. Screw it. On, on my like my monitor that I'm playing this, you know, my television screen. Uh, it's a lot brighter uh, than probably what the recording is, so it's probably, you know, just my TV settings. But anyways, um, we're going to be doing some Speedway racing in this car. I'm thinking we're going to do Martinsville, and then we're going to do, because uh, obviously uh, Martinsville is very cool with the 20, uh, or I should say 2001 32 car. Uh, that's actually when Ricky Craven won Martinsville back in the day. Uh, so we're going to be doing kind of a, a, a race there, and then we're going to be doing a short oval race very reminiscent of like irp so we need to convert this car back to a speedway uh build here let's see what can we do here we're going to martinsville what will we want to allow here on the front of this car that actually kind of looks really cool uh that little um uh, what is that the i-beam or something that's been bent very cool uh front bumper right there let's see but we're gonna probably keep it stock uh, keep it like that keep it aerodynamic uh, the back of the car, I like that kind of a like kind of a Ford Taurus 2002 kick out right there, very cool stuff right there. Uh, we're gonna run a actual uh, window piece here. Let's see, what kind of bars we gonna run. Well, I don't like how it kind of kind of covers up the top of the car. We could run that. It, it looks kind of goofy though. Um, I guess we'll just uh, we'll run this right here. We'll run these. Just to give it a little bit more of a speedway look. I don't like the top of the bars, but what can you do? Uh, the visuals for this car. Obviously, we got to put some different wheels on this bad boy. So, uh, let's see. We just need some good um, some good stock car wheels. My God, those look freaking fantastic, my dude. Holy crap. Let's see. Um, we could run the Goodyear ones. Let's go find those yellow ones that have the Goodyear lettering on them. It's not actual Goodyear lettering, but it looks freaking close to it. Uh, let's see if we go find those real quick and uh, put them on the car here. Let's see which one. I think they're these. Yeah. Ooh, that looks freaking awesome, yo. Uh, that looks freaking awesome. A little bit of some Goodyear uh, lettering to it, adding a little bit of uh, depth to this paint scheme. But my God, I love the time machine from yesteryear. Uh, the bright yellow and orange day glow with the white caboose on the car. Fantastic stuff. So uh, anyways, let's go ahead and put these wheels on here. And, uh, no, not that hunk of junk. I want that one. There we go. Holy cow, that is a hot-looking car right there. So, got that all tuned up, ready to go. Uh, is the car slammed to the ground? Let's see. Oh, no. It's not slammed. There we go. Now, it that is very aerodynamic. We're going to, of course, uh, Martinsville. So, you want to have a very lean machine. So, we're going to go to, um, let's see, the two tracks I want to do in this episode. We're gonna run the inner oval here at Big Valley Speedway. It's a very, it's extremely flat. It, it, it's, in a way, it's kind of like a mini New Hampshire, maybe a IRP. But we're gonna go run, um, uh, where is it? It's, uh, Martinsville. If I could find it, that'd be fantastic. Uh, where is it? There's so many different tracks in this game. And I'm really hoping they'll add some more ovals. Like that is my favorite stuff. The race. It, it could be just generic, crazy ovals. I love it. Uh, we're gonna be running um, the Martinsville course here. Wow, that's a hot-looking car right there, yo. Uh, we're going to be running. Get this, fellas. We're going to be running. Let's see. These cars deteriorate pretty quick, so I, I don't want to run a 30-lap race here as much as I want to. We're going to run normal damage. Uh, these cars are going to tear apart very quickly. Tell you what. Let's just run a 20-lap race here. If the cars, if it races good, we might do a super long one at that oval, oval, uh, inner oval race. So, anyways, uh, cars are going to be running uh, the same as player because we want to have it competitive. We're going to have a clear day at Martinsville. Clear day at Martinsville. No assists. Expert difficulty. Let's freaking do this. Alrighty, folks. Here we go. Uh, we're back out here at Martinsville Speedway. We got some IROC Camaros. Uh, we got some time. We got two time machines, at least, in the field here. This is going to be fun. My God, does this race car look awesome, my dude. Holy cow. And I love how the number set actually matches it because it has the blue and the yellow. Uh, exactly how Ricky Craven had it back in yesteryear. So anyways, here we go, fellas. 20 laps at Martinsville. Very low damage. This is going to be more of a sprint. But I'm going to try to uh, navigate and find a way to the front here as best as possible. 
My goodness, they're already breaking glass here. Holy cow, sheet metal flying, yo. Whoa, it's a freaking parking lot here. Holy cow. And uh, this poor thing's getting demolished. My god. So, if we can just navigate through the wreckage here. We gotta get our bearings and get back going here at Martinsville Speedway. The Arca Remax series. Oh boy. Get this freaking idiot out of my way. Look at this bozo. Freaking idiot. Gonna pass him on the outside. Car gets a little bit loose trying to keep the throttle command down. Rock it down the front straight away. Uh, a little bit of a crossover. There we go. Get the inside lane. Oh, there's a parked car. That's always great. So we're running 13th here, mid-pack. Uh, about 17 laps to go. The leader's already out to 11.2 second lead. Uh, got a lot of ground to make up. And these cars, they're going to deteriorate pretty quickly. But it's not going to be nowhere near um, where it would be at, like a speedway or something, because we would run higher damage. These are pretty weak cars, though. Um, think about it, early 90s, eight ladies, um, Camaros. Not exactly the, the, the steel... Um, tank that the 60s Camaros might might have been built with. My goodness, these cars are freaking everywhere, yo. They're freaking everywhere. Come on, man. I mean, we, we got a lot of speed in this car. It's just trying to get a clean line. God, dog. Look at these freaking idiots, man. Oh, my lord. There we go. Get around him. The whole back end of this car is looking like a, like a, like a gremlin, but the right front of this car looks like a Oh my god, those Pikes Peaks uh, race cars from like the 2000s you'd see on Gran Turismo. Well, we're just going to pass all those lap down cars. Battling hard for fifth place here. Have to go on the inside, a little bit of a bump, bump from behind. And uh, we'll keep it pointed and keep going. Already seven laps have been clocked here at Martinsville. And we're still dig digging through all these lap down wreckage. We got a shot at this one, y'all. We just gotta navigate in advance. 10 seconds, 13 laps, pretty much. And there's another idiot in our way. Keep going, keep going. Eight second lead now to the leader. Oh, a little bit of a bump there. Oh, no, 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 no! Crap, that was close, yo. Gotta keep digging. The leader has just wrecked or something because he just lost a crap load of time. Oh my god, it's a parking lot. Holy cow. It is literally a freaking park up. There's a car on the other side of the arm cone barrier. Somehow, we're in the lead, and now we got a bozo on the inside trying to take us out. Cars are still crashing. Holy moly. This is insanity. What is this dude doing? Oh my gosh. Now we got the two Tide machines going for the win here. You got, uh, uh, what is it, the Tide uh, Clean Breeze Ford that Craven drove in 02. Uh, that's a lap down car I might add in front of us. Then you got the primary 01 paint scheme here. I'm plenty of these cars are demolished, so I was thinking of running like a 40 lap race at the, uh, the inner oval, the flat one at uh, Big Valley Speedway. But unfortunately, we're probably just gonna have to do like a 10 lap shootout or something. I'm thinking like something kind of like a, like a sprint all star race type of thing. And uh, well, there we go. Craven survives and wins Martinsville. That was crazy. Wow, I mean, second place was two freaking laps down, man. Holy moly. Alrighty, folks, so let's see. Uh, we're going to be going to uh, Big Valley Speedway. We're going to try a little bit of uh, some good old stock car action here. Um, let's see, Big Valley Speedway. We're going to run the Inner Oval. This is a shorter track, about 200 yards, roughly shorter. A crap load less banking, so the, tr the, the track is going to be very treacherous trying to find that gro groove in the apex. So uh, we're going to be running this car here. It's going to be a sprint. We're going to run a 10 lap sprint, you know, pretty much just go after it. We're going to have a, let's have a cloudy sunset. Um, let's, actually, no, this is, oh, let's have a cloudy sunset. Why not? Same as player. Uh, the damage, though, we're going to keep it at normal because these cars just rip apart that easily. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of beating and banging. 10 laps to settle it. Let's go. Here we go, folks. 10-lap shootout. We're running the uh, very, very flat inner oval here. I mean, it, this place reminds me so much of, like, uh, what is it, Indianapolis Raceway Park. Uh, if you remember that track from back in the bush and truck days in the mid-2000s, uh, definitely reminds me of that. Here we freaking go. 10 laps to settle it. There is no patience. Go for it. 
So our thing is we have to navigate through the traffic as quick as possible. We have no time to waste. 10 laps to do it here, fellas. This is gonna get quick. And uh, there's gonna be a lot of carnage. Come on, there we go, there we go. Look at that, just use them as a glancer board. Spin it out, they're bootleg tide cards. And now we're already up to fourth. Come on, man, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's gonna hit the fence there. Come on, go, 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 go. Slide job for third. Oh, a little too much speed there. Check it up. Crossover underneath. Oh, contact made. Oh, boy. That was crazy. So this is this is only, what, seven laps to go here. We're in fifth place. We have to find a way to navigate to the front here. There is literally no time to waste. This is a absolute quick sprint race. Use them up. Do what you got to do. I think that green car. Um, that's, uh, well, about to be exiting turn four is uh, the race leader here. So that's kind of the, the car we need to watch. We're up to second here. Two points, uh, five seconds out. We're going to make heavy contact to the right front there. Almost at the halfway point here, fellas. That's how quick this race is going to be. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I feel like this is where this car really shines, is these quick sprint races. There's a lot of horsepower. It's very lightweight. Really has some good racing. We're closing in the leader here, Texas Hound. Uh, he's right there, um, uh, well, about half a second out. We're right there, we could hit his corner panel. Come on, oh no! And he's gonna get caught up with a crash there. There we go, we're gonna take the lead here. But we gotta hold on to it, fellas. So much carnage around this racetrack, anything could happen. Now it's two seconds back to second place. This car is flying around this joint, yo. This is one fast hot rod. I gotta watch out for these freaking idiots. Oh boy, there's a car there. Oh crap, calamity. Now it's down to one point, no, two seconds again. He gets he gets get collected right there. Second place is taken out once again. Come on, come on, no, no, no. Having to dodge all these freaking idiots, man. Five seconds back to second place, so that's really good. Kind of gives us a little bit of some breathing room. Just run a conservative line, get away from the competition. We should have this one. Oh, that was close. Come on now, 10 seconds out. Should be good to go here, fellas. Oh, no, 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 no. Dodge them, no. Crap. That was not good. Still over 10 seconds. So, coming to take the white flag here. We should be okay. Hopefully. And uh, one more time around. Uh, in the Indianapolis Raceway Park here in the time machine. Letting that back in kind of hang out there. Very nice. And, uh, well, through three and four. Final corner here. We're going to get a tag with the lockdown car. And that is another W. I'd say we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good, fellas. We got two race wins, but uh, we have time for a third race. Uh, what track will we choose, fellas? Alrighty, fellas, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a quick road course race. We're going to do the Fire Rock R Raceway. It's a full tarmac event. We're going to be running the main circuit reverse. Uh, we're going to be taking, of course, the good old Tide Ride out again. Here's how it's going to work, fellas. We're going to do a... Um, let's do a seven-lap race here. Seven-lap race. Got to go get it. Go, cat, go. Um, we're going to run normal damage. We're going to have a clear uh, day here. It's been a while since we've ran at one of these tracks. This is going to be interesting. So a seven-lap shootout at the road course. Let's freaking go. Alrighty, folks. Here we go. We got the uh, Fire Rock Raceway. Uh, consider it maybe a bootleg mid-Ohio or Watkins Glen or something. So we got Armco Barriers. We got road racing. I didn't even adjust the car for it, so that's probably a bad idea on my part. Uh, it shows you how long it's been since we've ran road course racing, but um, let's see what kind of tune we want to do. So the, the gear ratio, it's more of a short gear ratio here. This is going to be fun. Road course racing in the time machine here. Let's freaking do this. So it's been a hot minute since I've raced at this track here, so I have no clue what to expect. But we're going to get one shot at it. No do-overs. Got to go get it while you can. And these idiots are already putting us in the freaking dirt. Cars are spinning. Glass is shattering. My goodness. There goes a freaking sign there. Holy crap. Yo, get this freaking idiot out of my way. Go, buddy, go. Again, it's been forever since I've raced this track. 
So it's kind of nice to kind of get back to the left and right hand corners. It's been forever, yo. And this is the first time we're running this uh, IROC Camaro on um, one of these um, road courses, too. So we're going to really get, get to see how this thing uh, navigates the elevation changes. And uh, my goodness, this dude's eating this up for the inside lane. I'm going to let him go there. Oh, what the heck is this idiot doing? Freaking idiot. All right, got to keep digging now. Trying to get our bearings, learn about this racetrack, and just trying to find a way to the front, yo. There we go. I think that was one lap around here, so we got uh, a couple more circuits to go here. I'm going to try to shoot for a top 10, because, I mean, I'm pretty rusty in this thing, and plus the AI, I think, are naturally better at road courses than ovals. Um, but there we go. We're up to 17th. But these idiots, man, they just get such huge runs on you, bro. It is crazy. So now we're up to 16th. I imagine we're going to see a bunch of cars wreck up here, so that should help us get to the top 13. Which I would say we'd probably need to navigate and try to pass three cars. The rest should do the rest. And, um, well, let's see if we can try to do so, fellas. Oh my god, that dude's mowing the yard there on the hill. Holy crap, we got a dude just parked there. What the heck is these guys doing having a car show on the right side? We're up to 11th here. Come on, come on, come on. Just When they get on your back bumper, yo, it's freaking dangerous because they will not lift. They will keep hounding you until you're around. Try to use him as a glancing board if we can. Oh, no, 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 that didn't work. Oh, he went off track. Oh, crap, he just crashed into some dude's soccer van. Holy moly. So now we're 10th place here. Uh, what is it? Laps, lap three? Yeah, lap three out of seven here. We're in 10th place. This race is getting crazy. We got the old time machine here trying to navigate, trying to stay inside the top 10 at bootleg Watkins Glen right now. My goodness, this is fun. We might have to do another road course race next time, fellas. This is pretty interesting. I love these. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Navigate, navigate. There we go, there we go. Get the throttle, get the throttle. Holy crap, yo. I will say, though, this car does navigate the, the, the S's. The elevation changes pretty well. The biggest complaint I have is the throttle commands. Um, it's slipping the, uh, the back tires way too much, which tells me we need to have... A less sensitive throttle. Uh, we need to have a little bit, a uh, little bit of a relaxed throttle here, and that would certainly help our corner exit because the car is slipping way too quickly. Yeah, that could just be driver error, but I'm trying to feather as best as I can. But anytime you're, you're having to lift and lift and press the gas at the same time, um, you're just you're just really losing speed. You just want to mat the gas, and the thing takes off normally. Back tires are slipping way too much. So anyways, um, we're flat four out of seven here at Watkins Glen. We're in eighth place, 17 seconds out. I mean, this has not been an easy race for us. There's, there's so much carnage going on behind us. We're having to block cars and dodge all kinds of sheet metal and whatever uh, these idiots throw at us. But uh, navigating the S's, going up the hills. Come on, there we go. We're in eighth place right now, fellas. Gotta keep going, gotta keep going. Come on, man. Come on. Hopefully, we'll see a, a spin out or something up here, and that will help catch us a break. I'm still trying to get that top five. We need three spots to do so, but the leader is pulling away at 21 seconds. This dude's about to get pit maneuvered. Freaking idiot. Come on. Put him in the fence if you can. There we go. Run him off into the dirt. He'll get loose. He'll get loose. Putting him in the corner. Nope, dang it, he takes a wide arch. You see that? He went, He took a freaking wide arch right there trying to take a defensive line. I was going to punt him in the corner. He knew I was right there. Either that's how the AIs are programmed to enter that corner very wide, or he was running a defensive line. But uh, I, I tell you, I, I, I ain't messing around yet. We're going to try to move any car we can to get to that top five. But you can just hear how, um, how much the tires are slipping, and it's really scrubbing some speed off our corner exits. Oh my goodness, we're doing some Lightning McQueen dirt race in there. Oh my goodness, man. Turn right to go left. And uh, now we're going back downhill once again. This is a little sporty little uh, GT course. You know, it's pretty fun, I gotta say. Pretty fun little course right here. Unfortunately, though, we suck. Because the leader is already 25 seconds ahead of us, so they are pulling away. They probably ain't got no real, uh, no real problem with the lap down cars. So they're doing pretty good for themselves right now. We're just hoping for three cars to spin out. 
which unfortunately isn't likely, but we're going to keep trying. So here we go. Only, only a lap seven uh, or seven lap event here. Nothing too, too crazy, you know. But uh, definitely a nice little sporty road course here. Very fun. I'm interested to try some of the other ones out. I really like the full asphalt ones a lot because my biggest thing is like when you go onto the dirt races, you can't really steer the cars too well when you go to the dirt road courses. Um, it's kind of like a rally race, right? So anytime you get hit with dirt, you get spun out. But I really like these full tarmac road courses. They're pretty fun. There we go, there we go. You know, one cool thing I would love to see for Wreckfest, maybe they should release down the road, is a track editor. I think that would be so freaking cool if you could actually build your own Wreckfest track. I think that would be so cool. Like, they'll give you, like, common templates or something. If you ever played Far Cry... Um, there's a really cool map editor where you can actually like adjust the elevation of hills and put things like you can literally contort and build a map exactly like the developers would. They have all these, you know, tool sets and everything. I would love to see something like that with Wreckfest where you could like truly sculpt a racetrack. And this freaking idiot took us out there. He could have just went on by. Freaking idiot, get dumped. Now he lost an eighth place to this idiot. Look how bad the car is slipping, my dude. Maybe we need to change the differential or something. But this thing is slipping so God-given badly. I mean, I just can't hold the throttle down and not get the back tire sliding. Come on, come on. I have, nope, I don't have a shot at him. I was going to dive bomb him there. I'm going to have to settle for ninth place. Hey, we survived and we advanced seven laps here. Wow. Uh, the good old time machine. Hey, man, we survived. That's that's something to be proud of. But we got smoked. We got freaking smoked there, yo. Holy freaking cow. Alrighty, fellas. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. I uh, hope to see y'all next Thursday for more Wreckfest content. Make sure to tune in every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for more good old Wreckfest action. I'm not sure what we're going to do next episode. We might hop on back with the, the word burn COT. I don't know. We, we'll, we'll figure something out, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, wow, what a, what an awesome show that Camaro uh, really put out for us. Uh, i got so many different cars, so many different combinations. And of course, if you want to help out the channel, make sure to go shop at CircleBeeDieCast or Blind Sales. Use that promo code, fellas. Any order is $20 or more. That's diecast, t-shirts, 124s, 164s, hats, you freaking name it. Pre-orders, whatever it may be. Any orders, 20 bucks or more, fellas, you get free shipping. Because over here at Diecast Buffet, we don't pay for shipping. So, hope you're having a fantastic day out there. God, I love this paint scheme. Diecast Buffet, signing off. Stay humble. God bless.